Hi guys, we're at a uh, small branch of the Christina River down here in Newark. We're about oh, maybe a mile from campus and we're going to be collecting some sediment and fresh water for our first laboratory project, our Winogradsky column. So the water level's uh, pretty high. Um, it's been raining a lot. So I have a bucket and a trowel. You can use a tablespoon, a paint stir, anything that you can use to scoop up some sediment. And then I have an empty uh, one liter bottle that we're gonna collect some fresh water in it also. So I need as much sediment as will just about fill this bottle. Remember that we're gonna remove any um, stones or rocks or sticks so you can get a little bit extra. So you can see the silt, sand, any of this sediment will be just fine. Like I say we are gonna we're gonna take out those rocks when we when we sift it. We can just go into wherever we can get some. It's a little less rocky here. This might be a good spot. Our, our mud and sediment, we're just going to fill this bottle up with some fresh water from the same source. We won't need a whole bottle, full, but we want to make sure we have enough to top off our Winogradsky column when we put it all together. water. We need a little bit to mix in with the mud to get it the right consistency. All right, so we're going to take our materials back home to the driveway and move on to the next step in putting together our Winogradsky column. So on the way back to our driveway, we find this uh, pretty decent sized puddle. So if you can't find a stream or a pond, something like this puddle, puddle would be a perfectly fine source of sediment and fresh water from the same source. There's been a lot of rain, so you may find some low-lying areas in your yard, around the place where you live, um, that you could use short of trekking off to find a stream or a, or a pond. So here we are back in um, back in my driveway and I have our sediment that we collected from the Christina River and I've mixed it up and I've already taken out um, a lot of a lot of these stones. So as you um, as you add water to it to get it that nice milkshake consistency, you can kind of see what it looks like here. Um, you want to go ahead and sift out all the large uh, stones that you can. So for our sulfur and carbon additions, we're going to add those additions to the bottom about third of our column. Here's my empty uh, soda bottle that we're going to use for our column. So I'm going to take some of this and put it into a, into a bowl. 
and we've got our nice consistency there. And I just want to put in about what's going to fill up maybe, uh, maybe the bottom third of this. So I have some, some shredded newspaper. Um, and I've, I've taken strips of newspaper and just cut them up into little, little bits. Some of those are flying around the driveway. And just about a handful of uh, shredded newspaper. That's going to act as our, as our carbon source. And then this egg yolk is going to be our uh, sulfur source. So we're going to add that in as well. And stir that up. So that's all nicely mixed around. And then this is going to go into, um, into our column. You'll notice I've cut the top off of this bottle. Some people like to use the top as a funnel, but I think I can get that in there pretty well. So this is about the bottom third or fourth of our column. And we're going to take the rest of our mixture and fill it up to about close to the close to the top, about three quarters full. So we have our column filled about three quarters of the way full, and I have um, a container of the fresh water from the river that we collected at the same time we collected our sediment. So it's from the same source, and we're going to add some water about, we want about an inch maybe of water, and we're going to have about an inch of space at the top. So we'll then cover this with some saran wrap and a rubber band. We do want some air to be able to get in there. And we'll put it into a, um, a sunny window where it can get good light and we'll leave it undisturbed. And over the next five weeks, we'll, um, we'll see the microbial communities develop throughout the column. We should see some layers start to develop. We'll, see some uh, communities developing at the top of the column where they're getting the most sunlight and the most oxygen and we'll um, make those observations and take pictures over the next five weeks.